What we need to do to solve for x here is get this term out of the radical, okay, out of the square root. The way we're going to get it out of the square root is we're going to square both sides because squaring the square root essentially takes it away. What we, we get what's left inside. Okay, so we have x minus 4 quantity squared is equal to the square of the square root of 2x, and that's just 2x. Then we distribute this side, x minus 4 quantity squared is really x minus 4 times x minus 4, and that's x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 2x. Okay, now we have a quadratic. We're going to get 0 on one side. We do that by subtracting 2x from both sides. So we get x squared minus 10x plus 16 equals 0. And now to solve this, we'll go ahead and factor this quadratic. Okay, it factors as minus 8 and minus 2. So just as a quick check, we have x squared minus 8x minus 2x, that's the minus 10x we need, plus 16. So the two solutions to this are x equals 2 and x equals 8. But these aren't necessarily the solutions to the original equation, which is what we have before we squared. Okay, so squaring both sides here introduce the possibility of having an extraneous solution. So we need to check if these are solutions to, by checking to make sure they work in the original equation, which is x minus 4 equals the square root of 2x. So let's check x equals 2. Checking it means we should plug it in, plug in 2 to both sides here and make sure they're equal. Plugging 2 into this side gives us 2 minus 4, and what we want to know is if it equals what we get when we plug 2 into this side, which is the square root of 4. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. The square root of 4 is 2. Negative 2 does not equal positive 2, so that means that 2 here is an extraneous solution. Okay, so it's not a solution to the original equation. Now we check x equals 8. Plug it into the left side, and we want to know if it's equal to what we get when we plug it into the right side. 2 times 8 is 16. 8 minus 4 is 4. The square root of 16 is 4, so it checks out. So it means x equals 8 is the only solution to our equation. Okay, I'm going to give you one to work on now. Okay, pause while you work on this one. Okay, squaring both sides gives us 4x plus 16 equals x plus 1 quantity squared. So from that we get 4x plus 16 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Subtracting 4x and 16 from both sides gives us 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. The right-hand side factors as x minus 5 times x plus 3. The solutions to this equation are x equals 5 and negative 3. The final thing to do is to check to see if either of these is an extraneous solution. Plugging each of them into both sides of the original equation, we find that 5 is a solution, but negative 3 is an extraneous solution. So our only solution to the original equation, square root of 4x plus 16 equals x plus 1, is x equals 5.